We just got the new iPhone 12 and I thought it would be a really cool and interesting exercise to do a client shoot using the iPhone 12 and then compare it to my Canon 6D Mark II with a Canon L series 24 to 70 mm lens. Here is how it went down. I interrupt my own video to let you guys know quickly about the Black Friday sale I'm having for my online course, Become a Brand Photographer. Essentially, this course is everything I wish I knew when I started and is basically my brain inside an online course. I'm giving you 30% off valid from today until next Tuesday, the 1st of December. I'll leave the link in the description box below, which will take you to the course page and you can have a look at everything that is in there. You get lifetime access to all the modules, including the updates that I'm going to be making in 2021. Simply use the code BLACKFRIDAYYT at checkout and you'll get 30% off. If you have any questions on whether or not the course is the right fit for you, send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to chat, but let's get back to the video. Hey guys, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Amanda, I'm a brand photographer in Brisbane, Australia, and essentially I just love making videos on behind the scenes tutorials of product photography and teaching you guys more tips and tricks on how to build a successful photography business. I also share a lot of my behind the scenes content on my Instagram account, Amanda Campiano, as well as a lot more of my portfolio and my personal life if you want to get to know me more over there. But let's get stuck into the video. Where's my iPhone? So today we are using this, the new iPhone 12. This is not mine. This is my fiance's and I stole it from him. Um, I'm a little jealous. It's very nice. It's very nice to hold. I love the square edges and I love the Pacific blue color that it comes in. I have the iPhone 11, so. Now before we get stuck into the video, I'm just going to quickly run through the camera functions that I'll be using because I'm not actually using all of them. Now you'll notice on the iPhone 12, there are three lenses here. We've got an ultra wide, a primary, and a telephoto lens. For this client shoot, I am using the telephoto lens because this is equivalent to a 52 millimeter lens. And when you're doing product photography, this is ideally roughly where about you wanna be shooting anywhere from at least 50 to around 70 mil. Um, especially for like skincare and cosmetics and beauty. I will also be using portrait mode to show you the difference between portrait mode and using your normal camera function. All right, so now we are gonna get stuck into the photo shoot for my client, Rehab Hair Co. And as I go through each scene, I'm going to be putting up on the screen the iPhone 12 photo and the Canon photo. And I'm gonna ask you guys which one you think is which and then I will reveal all as we go through each scene. Okay, so here we have my iPhone set up on my tripod here. So I'm just using a little tripod phone mount. You can use this mount on any tripod, it's so handy. And then we have our scene here. So let's see how we go. We've then got my Godox SL60W light on this side here and as usual my FV150 up there. Okay, so now I have my iPhone on my tripod here and I'm going to be doing the exact same photo. All right, so this is our second scene for today. I'm keeping it nice and simple. I have added in a whiteboard as my floor just to change things up from that blue background. I also got a whiteboard on the left here. It's just helping to bounce light back onto those products. And it's also ensuring that I'm not getting my window reflection in the products either. So the other cool thing that you can do with this iPhone is you can actually increase and decrease your exposure. So it's this little icon on the um, top left here. And if I push it all the way to 2.0, take a photo, and then we push it all the way down to minus 2.0, you'll see that huge difference. So this is a really cool feature as well for the new iPhone that I noticed the iPhone 11 doesn't have. 
So you can really see that it just brings so much more light to the scene, which I absolutely love. So this is the next scene and I wanted to give you a quick little styling tip before we get stuck in. When you've got bottles that have the tops like this so you can twist it, you know, either way, make sure that all the tops of the bottles are actually facing the same way. So if I had this one and I did that, it just wouldn't look as nice, it wouldn't look as neat. So we want to ensure that that is the exact same direction as this one. And I've also got this little top here facing to the right as well. Okay, so now we are going to be taking the photo with our iPhone 12 and I'm going to put my exposure up to 2.0 and I'm gonna take the photo. So I can actually already see the difference that this photo is going to give me and this is mostly in the background. All right, so here is our next scene and I'm using a blue tar backdrop from the Everyday Co. I've got a mirror gold tray here just as another styling prop. I'm gonna be using this towel. So essentially what I'm doing is I've got my camera on timer and I'm going to be just holding the towel round about here like this. So I'm not sure if you can see that. And just to give another element, like kind of like it's in a bathroom setting kind of vibe, just to add another element over here, as I felt it was just looking a little bit bare. So let's take the photo on my Canon and then let's take the photo on the iPhone 12. So this is the next scene that we're working with and I've placed three mirrors around my products and kind of just going for that like really cool mirror effect. I've taken the photo on my Canon and now I'm going to take it on my iPhone 12. Okay, so now I'm going to do this scene on the iPhone 12 and because this is a water shot, I have to ensure that I shoot this on burst mode. So on the iPhone 12 to shoot burst mode, all you do is you hold down the volume up button. So we'll just do a little practice. And that's taking the shots. So when you go into your camera, your photos, you'll see there's a burst of eight photos there. So that's exactly what I want to try and be able to capture as many different types of water shots as possible. So for this one, I'm using the telephoto lens and I've just got it on normal exposure. So let's have a go. And I'm just gonna do that one more time. All right, so here are my final thoughts. The images on my Canon 60 Mark II are more creamy with more depth of field. With the images on the iPhone 12, they're still nice and they're quite crisp, but they are very, very sharp. There's not a lot of depth of field going on and there's not really much separation between your foreground, middle ground, and your background. The color science is also different with the iPhone images being more vibrant. So unless you do further editing, this is how they're gonna look. Um, and the iPhone image also falls apart more quickly when you edit these in Lightroom or Photoshop. And this means that you just don't have as much flexibility when trying to push your colors. However, this may change in the future as Apple are bringing out an image format called Apple Raw available on iPhone 12 Pro, which is likely to give you more flexibility when editing. So it'll be really interesting uh, when this comes out to 
do this experiment again and see the difference that Apple Raw makes to your images. So how many did you get right? Did you get all six correct? Leave your number in the comments below. I'm super curious to see how you guys went with choosing which photo was the iPhone 12 or the Canon image. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with this. And if you are somebody who doesn't have the budget for a camera yet, then this is an incredible option if you need to take photos of your own products. Um, I would highly recommend to, however, invest time into learning how to edit your photos if that's something you haven't done yet. Editing really is half the piece of the puzzle when you are producing a high quality photograph. So if editing is not your strong point, highly recommend get into Lightroom and Photoshop, invest in those programs, invest in your learning, and I promise that you will be creating high quality images in no time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found the comparison really interesting. I know I did. And if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, go and subscribe to my channel. I release new videos every single week unless I am completely bogged down in quiet work and exhausted. Um, otherwise, go and follow me on Instagram at Amanda Campiano where I share more of just everything. But I'll see you guys in the next video.